Welcome to this tutorial on Flipgrid, how to add instructor feedback, replies, and moderation. As you begin to create your own project boards, you'll notice that they don't always give you a topic focus. And what the topic focus does is it can add to the directions for your grid. So we're going to do a little editing here. And you'll notice that we've got the title. You can add as much to this prompt as you want. You can attach links. It's very awesome. Again, you can change the recording time, but here is the focus. So I can add a video, I can upload something, add a YouTube, you get the gist. So we're gonna record a video and pretend like we are giving verbal instructions for an online class. A lot of times it's just so nice for students to see your face. So again, you record just like you record a Flipgrid video, Hello, these are your project instructions. You hit next video. You take your selfie. You hit next. Complete. And now they see this fabulous selfie when they look at their project. And I can just update my topic here to show you what it looks like. So if I'm a student in this class and this is my project board, not only do I have my teacher explaining my directions in a video, but I also have my directions here, and Flipgrid also provides an immersive reader. Please record a one minute video explaining your project idea. So there's a lot here to support our students. One of the greatest things about Flipgrid are replies and feedback. So this again is the instructor point of view, and I have a wonderful student who has already left me a project idea. So notice these two very studious young men. I can leave a vibe to boost their mood. So you simply click the text, you leave the vibe, you update the response, and when they come back and check their video, they see that I really like their project. Feedback is private for Michael. Since this is his video, once I click to make feedback, only he gets to see it. So again, we record it like we always do. Great idea, Mike. Hit next. Great idea, Mike. Selfie. Next. And that feedback shows up right here for Mike. Only he can well, see it. But if you notice underneath Mike's video, this is what's known as a reply. Students can leave replies really easily and everyone will see the replies. So I'll show you on the student end what this looks like. So let's say I'm a student in your class and I am assigned to reply to some of these discussion threads. I am going to click on the video I see and I'm gonna watch this presentation. I'll notice my instructor left a vibe. So I'll know it's a good idea based on the vibe and I can hit reply. Notice that someone else has already left a reply, and I might be curious to see it. I can say, so I watch this reply, and maybe I'm inspired, but I want to leave my own comment. So I click the reply button. It wants me to log in with Google. I log in with my Gmail account, and now I can reply to Mike's idea as a student. So student reply, next. So student reply, selfie, next. And now this video appears for Mike. However, let's take a look at it. I only see this one reply and I'll tell you why. I have actually moderated this board. So as an instructor, I have the power to okay the replies. So if I go to my mail, the Flipgrid sends the reply moderation emails to the other part of your office inbox. Just be aware. So this is what I get as an educator. This topic is moderated. You've got to activate this video in the Flipgrid educator dashboard to make it visible. It timestamps when this was made. Now notice, you're on the grid, your video was submitted but currently hidden from view. This is what students will get because they know that the educator is moderating their responses. 
So the way to moderate, so I'm going back to the teacher email. So you go to your Flipgrid educator dashboard and here we are. We've got a few responses that I need to okay. And let's say that I watch this response. When I go to edit, see that it's hidden. When I make it active and then it's updated, Mike will be able to see that response. I go to another student comment that again is hidden. I simply make it active, it's updated, I bounce out. Now we see three replies here. If we go back as a student, Mike can see three replies here. And if I click on it, you'll notice that he can go from video to video to video and see what students have to say about his work. Another interesting thing to note is that when I look at Mike's feedback, I can actually leave so student instructor feedback to their feedback. So I can leave that feedback here and the student adding to the discussion gets that, which is really exciting because feedback is private for them. Students can't reply to a reply, but they can continue to reply to the original response video as many times as they want. Educators can also edit topics and turn off the student-to-student -student replies feature.